What I am saying is that this uh, strategy that I'm about to describe has been uh, extremely accurate historically and is likely to be relevant moving forward, which is essentially following Bitcoin is a, I want to give an early warning signal for when it might make sense for me to take uh, profits and a late warning signal for when it might make sense for me to take profits. So we understand there's a market cycle. We understand that, uh, you know, roughly a month or two after Ethereum and the alts reach their all-time high. So if we can try and find a signal for when Bitcoin moving forward has reached its cycle all-time high, and if we can try and find a signal for when Hex has reached its cycle all-time high, then we essentially understand that we have an early warning signal and a late warning signal. Maybe we'll understand better what I'm trying to get at the further I describe this. So one of the things I've tried to do is find a way to call when a bull market has reached its peak. I've tried to find a way to understand at what point being a bull in the market, the risk of being a bull in the market has greatly, greatly increased and in where it makes sense to start taking profits. And what I've found is that with Bitcoin, the 50-day simple moving average has historically done an uncannily good job of calling when Bitcoin has reached its cycle all-time high, not just one cycle, but two cycles in a row. So if we look at 2017 here, what we see is that Bitcoin is beginning its parabola. It has, during the beginning of the par parabola, has a correction, finds support on the 50-day SMA, then continues to go parabolic, retouches it, finds it and holds as support. And so what I'm saying is here is, if you find a support level, whether it's a moving average, exponential moving average, a cloud, a band that holds as support during the bull market, comes down, tests the, the support level and holds as support. Once that level breaks after we've experienced a parabola, that essentially marks the end of a bull market where we're here we have the 50 day simple moving average 2017. We, we pump, we come back down to retest, it holds a support. We pump, come back down to retest, it holds a support all throughout the bull market. So we found a level that holds as support all throughout the bull cycle. But the second we have a cut, well, the moment we have a couple days opening and closing below it that mark the end of the bull market. We never put in sustainable higher highs. So that was 2017. Looking at the 2021 market, same situation. We're beginning the bull market. We're beginning the parabola. We pump up. We have a major correction. We come back down to retest it. We hold it as support. We pump up, have a major correction, come back down to retest it, hold it as support. So what we're doing is that we're confirming the uh, a support level that it has previously held during the bull market, seeing if it holds the support. And as soon as we get a couple of days opening and closing below it, that was the end of the majority of the bull market. In short, we had a, a double top this cycle. But point being is that after this point here, two or three daily candles up and closing below uh, a previously held major support level, we had a major, major correction that lasted uh, quite a long time. So the point is that I've identified a level with Bitcoin that kind of marks a point in which being a bull in the market moving forward is far, 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 far more risky. And so since we understand that Bitcoin typically reaches its all-time high before the altcoin market does, moving forward, when a similar thing happens, this is essentially an early warning signal that, hey, the party's over, the market's way too overheated, or way too euphoric, and shit is winding down the party is over go home go to sleep sober up so we've identified a support level that historically has called this so i'm betting that come you know the next bull cycle sometime 2024 2025 whether it's this moving average or a slightly different moving average a 55 moving average uh, uh, an 85 ema or whatever it is if you find a support level that holds a support throughout the majority of the Bitcoin uptrend, as soon as we start to get daily candles, several daily candles opening and closing below it, it's a very, very good sign that the party is over. And so next time we see this happening here, if Bitcoin come 2024, 2025, starts to go up, corrects, find support on the 50-day SMA, starts to go up, corrects, find support on the 50-day SMA, 
and then is really parabolic and then tests it again and it fails, that's your early warning signal that it makes sense to start taking profits. Now, I want to give a late warning signal. As we've mentioned before, Ethereum and the altcoins typically reach their all-time high sometime after. Hex reaches all-time high several months after Bitcoin reached its all-time high. So my point with bringing up the 50-day SMA with Bitcoin is not to say that this signal is completely perfect in every respect. It's not. It's not a perfect signal. It's a useful signal. It serves as an early warning indicator that this market is euphoric and that the euphoria is probably winding down. And so that's an early warning signal with Bitcoin, a late warning signal, given that hacks in the altcoin typically reach their all-time high sometime after uh, uh, Bitcoin. If we apply the same rationale to something like Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X moving forward, we find a moving average, an exponential moving average, a band or a cloud that holds as support during the parabola. We we go up, we come back down to retest it, it holds as support. We go up, we come back down to retest it, it holds as support. That solidifies whatever uh, moving average you're looking at as relevant. The, the going up and coming down to test and holding as support during a bull market, that's what solidifies that moving average or that support level as being relevant. And then once we have a crazy euphoric period and we come back down to re it's retest that previously historically relevant moving average or support level, and it fails after a period of, of euphoria, after we've seen that early warning signal with Bitcoin, that's probably your late warning signal with Hex, with Pulsing, with PulseX moving forward, that it probably makes sense to start thinking about taking profits, not financial advice. So I know I threw a lot out there. Uh, I, I was probably not, I'm for sure was not as articulate as I 100% could be. So if there's any clarification uh, that needs to be had, uh, please ask. But if I can just uh, quickly attempt to summarize, finding a moving average that holds the support during a bull cycle with Bitcoin, and once that fails, acts as an early warning indicator for perhaps thinking about taking profits. Since we understand that Ethereum and the altcoins reached their all-time high sometime after Bitcoin, finding a similar moving average that holds that support throughout the length of the bull market, come back down to test it, and it fails. That serves as your late warning signal to start to take profits or to think about potentially taking profits on your altcoin position. Hopefully that makes some kind of no, sense. Dude, first of all, that was that was unbelievably articulated. I love the way you break things down. Um, you know, with your with your speech, I think you have a your you have a you have a very good gift uh, in terms of your speech. You know, being able to paint a picture and uh, you know organize organization. I think it's unbelievable how you said it. It made a lot of sense. Oh, I, I and, appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, and I think uh, we're gonna have to obviously we're gonna be having you on, and you're gonna be talking about this on your show as well. You know, we're gonna be following this indicator very closely because it certainly looks very meaningful. And uh, and and I'd like to add to that. The good thing is a lot of people came in in the middle of the last bull market. Um, so you have to be a lot more careful when you take profits, because if you're coming in when the price is already up a lot, but I think if you're in now, even if you don't hit it exactly when it crashes, but you're, you know, starting to, you know, um, to, uh, you know, dollar cost average out or take a little bit of profits, you're, even if you miss it and there's already a 50% crash, you are still going to have huge profits because Richard Hart talks about it, right? If you go up 10,000 X, and you crash, it takes a 99.99999% correction to be broken even. So, you know, it's, it, you don't have to be as vigilant within taking profits, but this is an amazing indicator. And I think you explained it very well. And people in the chat uh, agree. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe for weekly meetings, courses, and to access my Discord, consider becoming a Patreon. If you're looking for a more personal experience, consider booking a one-on-one. -on -one. All links are in the description.